Hey guys, who are we all? So welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the next seven days for Scorpio placements. So if you have Scorpio as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury or North Node in your birth chart, this reading will be for you. Everything that you need to know will be in the description box below. So we're going to get into your reading. This is the Modern Witch Tarot that we're using today. So Angels of Love and Light, could please have clear and concise messages. For Scorpio placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury and North Node, what do they need to know for the current energies for the next seven days from whenever they come across this reading? What do they need to know, please and thank you? What do they need to know, please and thank you? Two more shuffles and then we'll cut up the deck and get into your read. Thank you for your patience. I really appreciate it. Okay, what's going on? bottom of the deck we have the chariot cancer's energy and we're currently in cancer season and we're soon to be in july we have the number seven coming through so i feel that in the next seven days even okay or in july there is this fast forward movement for you guys and i feel this is overwhelmingly positive I feel like you guys are ready to tackle anything head on. I'm getting this fearless vibe about you. Um, I feel that you have been working on your fears and you've even confronted some previous fears. I'm getting previous. So I feel like you're not so scared about certain things anymore. I'm hearing you're letting go of the fear or you're feeling the fear and doing it anyway. I'm getting the sense like you are wanting to get to the next level. Okay. And you know that you have to get out of your comfort zone because that's where the growth really happens. I'm hearing that's where the magic really happens. And I'm getting told that you guys are incredibly supported right now. Maybe not so with, um, I'm hearing close ones to you, maybe friends, family members, or I'm getting so-called friends, people that you work with, okay? I'm getting more to the point whereby you're getting a lot of support from the ethereal realm, okay? I mean, that other message may resonate for some of you, but I'm getting this overall that you've done a lot on your own, off of your own back, and you have been someone who has had many obstacles in front of you, but you've not let that stop you. And I feel that with this sense of perseverance, you have got to a point of where you are now and it's important to look back in retrospect and actually pat yourself on the back and be very proud i'm um, hearing of who you are and how you've become the person that you are today i feel that you are very connected to your spirit guides okay to god source the angels whoever you resonate with and i feel that this strong connection and i'm getting your strong intuition is what's helping you navigate your wow well, navigate your path right now okay and i get this overall feeling that if things are a little bit emotional for you with certain things that come up i feel like you're able to handle of these emotions a lot better now than what you were able to in the past i'm hearing it's like your superpower i feel like you're gaining your power back you've got this personal power back and I feel that your confidence, I'm hearing, is soaring. Or if it doesn't feel like your confidence is soaring as of right now, it will be very soon. And not some in kind of like arrogant, egotistical type of way, like this air of quiet confidence about you. And people are going to just know and see that you are feeling a lot more confident. And I'm hearing accepting of self, which is really wonderful which is really, really lovely. And that comes across as very true, very genuine, very authentic. You have this energy about you, which is just very powerful. I'm getting that a lot, guys. So really wonderful start, actually. So let's get some more cards on the table. I just heard you're not afraid to speak your mind anymore. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting something to do with the throat chakra. Your throat chakra is widening, it's opening. There may have been a block there at some point, but I feel like that's something that you've worked on. Oh, okay. Oh, as I say that, the Ace of Swords, this is to do with the throat chakra, widening of the, of the throat chakra. Guys, 
and you see how it looked like it wanted to come out sideways but it's not completely sideways or in reverse so i'm getting that with the way that it landed like this some of you may have a little bit more work to do on your throat chakra but predominantly a lot of you you are speaking of your truth or you're moving forward in your truth and this is very positive okay so if you are receiving certain intuitive downloads right now it is important to kind of write these down and to take action on these because whatever new idea or inspiration that you are going to be receiving is really going to help you propel you forward and i'm hearing don't give a flying f about what everybody else's opinions are in regards to i'm hearing this new venture for yourself regardless of whether that is being open to new love or whether that's open to um, a new career path or um, something that is regarding your finances you know what's right and best and true for you okay so i feel that this is a really wonderful start with this ace of swords okay yeah with the full card Le oh, wow i'm getting leo energy i don't know why i wanted to say leo energy something significant about leo season even though this is aries energy can sometimes be you know uh, uh classified i'm hearing as aquarius energy as well but i'm getting strong aries okay so you guys are stepping into your new beginning and like i said to you previously whatever is coming through for you is gonna have that that is going to be able to help you with getting into this new fresh start that you have been wanting for yourself yeah i was getting originality i was i was channeling that earlier so this really does strongly indicate that with the knight of wands aries leo sagittarius how interesting that that fire energy came through as i had mentioned it um so yeah you are moving forward in a, a wonderful new direction in your life and you're very driven you're ambitious you have goals dreams wishes that you're wanting to fulfill here and you shouldn't let anybody else you see how this kind of little dog here is trying to warn of this person oh you shouldn't go this way because this is not going to work out for you you may have had people projecting certain things on you but the thing is this person looks like they're going to take the leap of faith right but what i'm picking up on is that even if this person was to take a leap i'm feeling that there is a sense of you know, being caught, okay, being caught as in mid air, like, I'm seeing this person jump off the cliff. But yet, there's that kind of apprehension about jumping off of this, this cliff, but I'm, I'm feeling like it's really weird. It's like out of the blue, like this person has taken that leap of faith, and then just this really thick cloud, like this really soft, pillowy cloud just is magically kind of there underneath of where this person is going to be landing when they take that leap and then they get on this cloud and then they're just kind of teleport not teleported but they're kind of like moved with this cloud into where they're supposed to be and i'm getting that as like a very strong spiritual message that your kind of spirit guides the angels whoever you resonate with is this big fluffy cloud and even though you don't necessarily see of them okay you know that you're going to be safe you know you're going to be protected you know that if you just take that calculated risk i'm hearing for yourself okay i'm hearing back yourself you are going to be exactly where you need to be okay and everything is kind of working out for you interesting kind of vision that i had just come through there so please only take what you feel resonates with these messages as they are general okay thank you the lovers gemini energy i did pick up on new love um so yeah we have strong soulmate energy here past life twin flame connection may be significant for some of you there could be someone who's getting ready to speak out and tell you of their truth tell you of how they feel there may have been a long awaited period of time for something to come in in regards to this particular person but somebody's wanting to water and nurture a connection with you okay and you've been very patient but if we go back to what i was saying previously you know you have that support that love that's coming through for you from the ethers from the spiritual realm to ensure that you know that you feel confident in yourself and your i'm hearing your capabilities your abilities your gifts your talents um i'm hearing that innate 
talent that you have, tapping in more with that, okay? With whatever foundation you've been, I'm hearing birthing, which is interesting because we haven't got the Empress card showing through, but I'm getting birthing of a new life. Um, this is coming in for you. And this is going to be something that's very long lasting. Interesting. It'd be, it'd be quite um, pretty amazing to see if the Empress does come out. Ten of Swords. Why is that flew out? The world. Wow. Just to clarify that. Wonderful. Well, we know that's the case because the thing is, we have the Ten of Swords, which is ending of a cycle, and then we have the Ace of Swords, which, which is the beginning of a new cycle. So absolutely, and this is the completion card. Okay, so you've completed something very significant here, or multiple, I'm hearing, cycles, which are very significant. And you're getting ready to go into that new, that new world that you're creating for yourself. I'm hearing new earth even. Wow. Okay. So I feel like I'm speaking to individuals here who are a very like high vibration, who have done the work and the healing on themselves. And you're getting ready to, okay, transition from the 3D to the 5D earth. But not like as in a, you know, an actual kind of, you know, death and re rebirth process. I'm, I'm getting more to the point whereby I'm seeing these two globes, these two earths. And it's like it was one and then it's been separated. And for the people that haven't been doing the work and the healing on themselves will be staying in this kind of earth. And the ones that have will be bringing in the new and be living on this particular earth, if you get what I mean. I know that sounds a little bit woo-woo, but that's the message that I'm picking up on. So I feel like you're in this kind of collective of people who are coming into this new earth. And so therefore, anyone else that hasn't been doing the work they're going to be feeling stuck in whatever they've been dealing with with this other earth, okay? Interesting. I just heard for some of you, you just don't even feel like you, you belong here. I don't know why I got that. I'm getting maybe a starseed um, type of energy. A starseed type of energy may resonate here. What else? What else is going on here? Anything else to clarify this Ten of Swords or is that it? Leo, Taurus, Scorpio and Aquarius placements may be significant. Anything else for this Ten of Swords or do you want me to carry on with the reading? Thank you. Well, look at that. Landed straight on top to clarify. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Anything else to clarify this Ten of Swords? Wow, okay, thank you very much. Page of Wands and the Moon in Reverse, Pisces Energy. Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and the Two of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. What I'm feeling here, guys, is that you have really struggled with a lot especially when it has come to your career and your finances. But I feel like you are receive, receiving some very exciting news. Something is going to be revealed to you in a dream. And I feel like there are certain things that are going to start piecing together and make a lot of sense to you. And I feel that with you writing down these interpretations of your dreams, this is going to help you with your next steps for you to take action on something pretty specific here. There's definitely something that you have in mind that you're currently working on or you're wanting to work on. And you may have just been a bit like, well, I'm not quite sure how to go about this next. And so therefore you may receive a particular message in your dreams that could highlight something for you. Um, I'm picking up on something that you may have been kind of missing right? You might have been missing out on something, but it's going to be coming through for you. Some of you may be um, intuitively guided to partner up with someone in regards to a project or maybe for a business if you're self-employed, an entrepreneur here. There could be someone who wants to assist you 
with taking some, something off the ground, something really loves the work that it is that you do. Somebody feels that you have a lot of potential, but you have not necessarily had the opportunity to really fulfill of this full potential. And so therefore there could be someone who resonates very strongly with you. They may have also dealt with a lot of trials and tribulations that may be very similar to yours. Even if you haven't necessarily, I'm hearing publicly announced the certain things that you have gone through in your life, the troubles that you have gone through, it's like somebody can feel this, this energy where they're like, I can just tell from looking at this person that this person is talking from a place of experience, okay, or that this person has gone through a lot more than they have been given off here, and I feel like I would love to be able to be in a position and a place here to be able to offer that assistance and help to this person i'm picking up on resources i'm picking up on finances as well so i feel like somebody wants to take a chance on you i'm hearing you're their best bet for some reason which is really intriguing you're their best bet i don't know why i'm getting that but i am But I'm not, I'm not picking up on your their best bet as in the sense of somebody coming from a place of like desperation or feeling like they have every kind of hanging last chance on you for you to do off something and for it to work out. I'm not getting that. So I feel like somebody's wanting to come through. Yeah, with the Four of Pentacles. I feel like somebody wants to come through and assist you to level up, okay? Yeah, with the chariot, Cancer's energy coming through again. I also feel that if we go back to a love message, there's someone who's opening up with their feelings to you that basically they thought that you and this individual weren't going to have the opportunity to renew of a connection with each other because of something that, that may have happened previously. Maybe this person was a bit immature. Um, maybe this person didn't necessarily have the emotional intelligence at the time. Maybe this person was struggling with certain things that they didn't necessarily want to kind of let on that they were struggling with. But I feel like I'm hearing all cards on the table. Somebody's going to be letting you know of what they've been previously experiencing here. Yes, with the Knight of Cups, as I say that. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You've got somebody coming forward towards you, or you may be the one that may resonate with this, and you could be a cross-watcher here, however this goes. But look, the Empress, Taurus, Libra, Energy, and Divine Feminine. Didn't I say it would be wonderful to see the Empress at some point in this reading? And we see how this Knight of Cups is going towards of this Empress. So yeah, I feel like you're in a very strong um, position right now. Or if you're not necessarily feeling like in materialistically, that you're in a strong position, it really won't be long until you are, okay? And I also feel that in regards to love, there is definitely someone who is kind of like, wow, I've had this kind of major realization that I've only been truly hurting of myself here by not being in, I'm hearing consistent communication with this person or opening up in the way that I know that I could have had, but I didn't. And so therefore, someone is coming through to let you know that they are serious. Look at that with the sun, Leo energy. Now, you know, it's interesting because I said to you earlier when that full card came out, I immediately said Leo, didn't I, rather than Aries. So there's the Leo energy coming through. There could be something about the summer or Leo season or Leo placements. Um, but there is someone absolutely with the Knight of Cups, the Empress and the Sun card that we've just seen is very significant. And also I said before about birthing of a new life with that Empress energy and also, you know, with the Empress and the, um, the sun, strong indicators of potentially fertility, pregnancy. Um, but even if that's not necessarily that something that resonates for you, I'm picking up on birthing of a new life. There's some really lovely new energy coming in for your, I'm hearing for your life, for your new life. 
and you're moving on to Karma Waters here with the Six of Swords. And you know how I said to you previously, like with how um, we had that fall that was going to take that leap of faith and I had the vision of the big puffy cloud, like pillowy cloud, like underneath this person and just kind of taking them. Well, this is a card indicating a spiritual ally or maybe even a physical ally, but there's definitely the sense of you being kind of, you know, transferred into this new destination where things are going to be feeling a lot more peaceful for you and getting out of whatever you have been dealing with previously. So I'm getting told for you to get prepared for, look, as I say that with the fool, look, gosh, guys, I was just talking about this card. Wow. I mean, oh, spirit, thank you so much for coming through. I, I really appreciate it. I absolutely love it when that happens. Okay. I really genuinely do. It's wonderful. Now I'm feeling called to put these cards back. I'm also picking up on that illusions, okay, are going to be dissolved. Okay. And you may have had this certain illusion about yourself that you're only meant to get to a certain level in your life, especially when it comes to your career or your finances, like a, a self kind of limiting belief, or you've had some sort of belief ingrained from a, a very young age from family or what have you that have made a big influence in how you think about yourself and how you think about and hearing the way that you make money um, and the way that you bring in money. I'm getting quite a traditional, um, vibe coming through ace of wands look at this this is gorgeous see brand new energy coming in for you for your career for your finances um projects there's definitely travel for you in the future very soon as well some of you may have a trip already planned out for your summer now obviously i'm reading you know um from the uk um you know it may not necessarily be coming up for summer where you guys are so obviously just kind of flip it around but I, I feel like there's something really shifting up for you very quickly and this is kind of orchestrated by the divine by the universe with judgment sagittarius energy so i'm hearing for all the work that you've done with yourself you're going to start glowing like unless you're already kind of glowing right now which i feel like you absolutely are but i feel like i'm hearing they haven't seen nothing yet so i feel like you're in the very early stages of a glow up okay and it's like all the internal work that you have been doing is getting ready to just completely be shown in your physical reality as something that is very tangible very tangible yes with the empress <laughs> Taurus Libra energy. Look at this. You see how this person is living this like life of luxury. They're very comfortable. They're like, they have of everything that they need, not having to worry, right? That's what you're coming into. That's what you're coming into. I'm hearing working smarter rather than harder. Okay. Absolutely. And you guys are very, very attractive right now, okay? I feel like you guys are always, of course, very attractive. Um, but there's just something whereby it's like you've unlocked this new level in regards to your, um, I'm hearing like your physical appearance. But also I feel like you've been doing a lot of work energetically. Yep. And look with the chariot wanting to kind of just come through. I get this energy that like people are not going to see you coming. Okay. It's like, you know, where you have, um, you know, if you go, uh, or if you're driving on a road with the cars and then it's like the, the motorbike can just kind of weave in and out. Like, obviously you have to be careful guys, but I'm getting like, people are not going to see you coming like, or like, you're just going to be kind of excelling past certain individuals. And they're not going to see you coming. I feel like you really still don't necessarily know and fully understand. I'm hearing grasp how big these changes that are coming in for you that you've been kind of expecting and anticipating 
and you're excited about it, but you may feel like you're not necessarily sure about what's in store for you, but you, you kind of feel like you're ready for it. Okay. You're definitely a lot more ready for what's coming in for you than you were previously. I just got told Ducati, like as in um, a, a motorbike brand. Okay. Some of you may ride a Ducati or a motorbike, but um, I am getting that. I am getting that. But look, also as well, this is a rags to riches type of energy. So this is somebody that has really kind of built themselves from the ground up. And I feel that this is all paying off for you, right? Look, guys, Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's like you are zooming so past, so quickly past these people, like into this next level that they're going to have to keep their eyes peeled because you're moving through so quickly and people are going to be wondering like how did you manage to go from here to here and just like skyrocket into this new level of success people have you know been looking at you for quite some time and they've been wondering what you're going to be doing next yeah look seven of cups you have options with what's coming in for you, many opportunities, as I say that Empress coming through again, you know, the Empress is somebody who's not short of options, okay, they are someone who is like, kind of relishing in the fact, um, not in a kind of, no, egoic way that they have lots of options, but they just know that things are always kind of working out and aligning for them. And so, therefore, that whatever is coming their way, they're able to separate the wheat from the chaff with what is coming through and i'm hearing being presented to them interesting i'm reading energy rather than gender or sex as you guys know so if you have at any point felt confused about certain things coming through for you new contracts um, that you may be wanting to sign but you feel a little bit maybe off about something coming in for you you will be able to use your sense of discernment in the realization of what's going to be right for you and what isn't. Okay, you're gaining clarity. Yeah, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy and the Ace of Pentacles. There may be something that's coming forward for you in regards to your career, whereby it's a little bit different from what you usually do. But I feel like somebody sees this potential, like I was picking up on earlier, somebody sees this potential and they're like, wow, this person has this, this kind of magnetism, this energy about them. I just heard very popular. I feel like you're going to be very popular, like in demand over something. Can we get a little bit more on this seven of cups? Wow. King of swords. Look, another ace that's coming through with that king of swords. So we've got an ace here and the king carrying the ace. So absolutely, you have very strong discernment. Very strong discernment. We have the five of cups coming through. Why is that? You have definitely been sad that certain things didn't necessarily work out in the past. Okay. You may have hit rock bottom with certain things. You may have been feeling a little bit stuck or stagnant, but you're not going to be in that energy anymore. Okay. Because we saw earlier that we had the world card, which was clarifying the 10 of swords. So I feel like this is just an additional message to showcase to you that, you know, there's that sense of understanding that, you know, you have had to deal with a lot of deep unhappiness and grief and upset but that's something that's not going to be continuing. Yet, as I say that, Six of Swords, you're moving on away from that completely. So I love the fact that that just clarified that there for you. Okay. With the Justice card, Libra energy, look, you're getting your justice. So I'm hearing, don't you worry about a thing. Whatever wrongs that were going on in the past, they will be righted. And there will definitely be people coming forward towards you because their conscious, um, their conscience, wow, their conscience is going to be letting them know 
look, you have to go through and apologize to this person and be fair and do what's right. Yeah, work on something with this person if you can. Obviously, um, you know, it's going to be down to you whether you're going to be accepting of certain things that people say to you. Um, if they do come forward and apologize or you're just going to take that as a sense of closure and kind of move yourself on forward anyway. Yeah, with the two of cups as I say that. Yeah, because people want to be like all right with you. But also just be cautious that with these people right you are able to see through the bs you can just sense the energy you'll just intuitively know i just heard something to do with ringing in the ears if you're dealing with someone um and they're talking to you and they're giving off of this uh, um i'm hearing this these sorries right not necessarily an apology but just saying sorry and your ear starts ringing and something feels a bit off that's a big sign that this person doesn't necessarily mean what they say even if they have come through with the physical act of saying of something um you'll just be able to tell whether someone is being truly genuine or not okay as i say that with the star aquarius energy now there will be people who are very genuine and there will be other people who may not necessarily be because the thing is, is that they see you moving on with your life and improving and leveling up and you've been working very diligently. And regardless of all the put downs I'm hearing that you've had in the past with certain people, maybe from them, right, they will want to come through and they'll be like, wow, I get this in this energy that this person's going to be a big deal, like they're going to be a star. So maybe let's see if we can kind of, you know, I'm hearing apologize to this person to see if i can kind of be around them for their kind of glow up or level up but i feel like you're cutting these people off at the pass most of them anyway okay yeah because with the wheel of fortune it's calm it's some karmic energy coming through leo taurus scorpio and aquarius with the page of cups yeah some of you know it's going to be crocodile tears and you're like well thank you for that um and you're moving yourself forward other people will be genuine with you and you'll be like right okay you know thank you for that and then you'll have that sense of knowing that you haven't got to deal with that situation and regardless of whether you want to stay in contact with someone or not you will have that closure and you're completing of that cycle and moving on forward okay but definitely there will be people who are feeling this call to apologize to you right but you have a big breakthrough happening for you and you're stepping into a very very new life more fixed sign energy leo taurus scorpio and aquarius now guys i don't usually read my cards like this but i'm getting called to do so so that's what's going to happen also, I do believe that there is a romantic person, a romantic interest, a person here who will be coming back around to heal of a connection to reconcile with you. You may feel a very strong uh, spiritual, emotional connection with this person, maybe a soulmate, past life or a twin flame energy. I'm getting a strong twin flame energy. And this person has regrets over certain things that they've done in the past and they want things to be working out with you and they're going to be coming forward and expressing with this kind of heartfelt energy okay and they're coming forward towards you as i say that with the chariot and the emperor we have aries coming through cancer but also divine masculine so some of you definitely resonate with the twin flame journey there's definitely someone coming forward towards you because they feel like the timing is right as i say that to a cups to men i'm hearing to mend to mend of this situation if you are going to be open to this now some of you will be open to this some of you you know are not interested whatsoever and you know your path is your path right but i feel regardless you do have choices when it comes to love as well you do have new people that are going to be kind of speaking up and saying look um you know I'm hearing that I kind of have a crush on you or like, you know, I'm interested in you or I'm hearing I don't just want to be your friend. 
okay yeah this is going to take a lot for somebody or these people to do of this i'm getting these people so yeah with the strength card leo energy you're definitely going to have this kind of transformation in your love life where people are getting the courage to be like um yeah this is this is what i want this is what i'm interested in here with the star so it's like miracles taking place left right and center with people your connections and relationships are going to be changing significantly can we get a little bit more about this wheel of fortune please and thank you can we get a little bit more about this wheel of fortune it doesn't necessarily have to be about love but what can we get oh, okay this one oh no it didn't come out oh guys page of cups look landed on top of the wheel of fortune i was like oh it doesn't have to be about love but look you are definitely going into a new cycle of your life for love with more of your water sign energy and it's coming in quickly with the knight of swords people just i'm hearing chomping at the bit to talk to you okay wanting to get to know you um with the hermit i feel like you guys have been you know feeling a little bit alone um you may have been single a long time some of you may have been celibate or abstaining for a very long time you've been very much focusing on your healing and your spiritual path and you haven't really been getting into much contact with um with others especially intimately or romantically but something about that is switching up okay and i feel like what's coming through for you in regards to that is going to be pretty spicy i'm getting fun flirty type of energy as well which is going to be right up your street guys <laughs> uh what else yeah people are going to be like wanting to compete over you okay people are wanting to manifest the opportunity to be around you with that magician with the empress because look at this look at you guys with this energy i mean you have I'm literally feeling like just flocks of people just out of nowhere start kind of i'm hearing um messaging you on social media like texting you i'm getting lots of compliments so you could be out and about um you know just going you know doing your day-to-day -day thing or you could be meeting up with friends or what have you and you get people that are kind of just checking you out and you're like are they staring at me like <laughs> wait what like you know um and you may get people that come through and be like you know i'm hearing cheekily asking you out on a date i'm getting something to do with a one-liner um interesting like a pickup line so somebody somebody may be coming through with a pickup line okay but anyway anything else for this love that's coming through obviously because i'm going to talk about it anything else or we can move on to a different topic anything else for this wheel of fortune and the page of cups as we're talking about love or should i change up the subject two of wands page of wands okay yeah look you see how this person's on their phone you definitely have people debating about whether they should reach out to you or not whether they should show off their interest to you i'm feeling a lot of sensual energy with this tower airy scorpio energy you definitely have people even at a distance where they're getting very um fired up and passionate when they think about you um i just heard like the smell of you okay so some of you may smell really good um like somebody may be kind of thinking about the perfume or the aftershave that you wear yeah like <laughs> you could be out with friends and then somebody just smells you or they're like they compliment you about your perfume or your aftershave or something that's what i'm getting that could be i'm hearing an icebreaker but somebody is definitely gonna be hitting you up pretty soon romantically for sure Somebody may end up getting the impression or they feel like you would be a bit of a player or a bit of a heartbreaker for some reason, okay? I don't feel like that's necessarily the case. I don't believe that's true at all, but there may be people that get the impression that you get a lot of attention, so why wouldn't you kind of be in that energy? But that's I'm hearing that's not your vibe at all, okay? That's not your vibe, okay? Yeah, queen of pentacles. You don't kind of just 
out here for anyone. Like, you don't settle for less over here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know exactly what it is that you want, okay? With the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, you're just not kind of, you know, after any kind of person here. And so people are going to have to up their game to be able to be around you, um, especially romantically if they want the chance to take you out. Okay, I feel like I'm speaking more to my femmes with that message, but obviously Take Me Feel resonates. You guys are definitely not interested in kind of casual connections or anything like that. But you are looking good, smelling good, feeling yourself right now. As I say that, there's your energy Scorpio with the death card. Lovely confirmation from spirit there. So thank you so much. Absolutely wonderful. But you're looking for commitment. You're looking for someone who's going to treat you. I'm hearing like, pre like princess treatment. Take it as it resonates, guys. With the eight of cups, yeah, you're leaving people and places and things that aren't resonating with you anymore, where you're not feeling completely fulfilled. And you're definitely walking away from like having these more casual connections because you just may have felt stuck in the past with the hang one Pisces energy or somebody is walking away from a particular lifestyle because they've had this sense of enlightenment that actually they want to kind of settle down and have a long-term commitment. As I say that with the marriage card coming through with the Hierophant, that could be very, very synchronistic for someone, okay? Somebody is definitely over and done with just kind of, you know, I'm hearing dating for the sake of it. I'm hearing dating's expensive. <laughs> you know, somebody is wanting to specifically invest in someone and they know somebody knows that you're the one that they want to invest in again with the empress coming through i mean wow wow somebody realizes you're the one that they want to have a family with um if that resonates now we'll get some more messages in other areas of your life what else is going on please for that wheel of fortune Come on, I was trying to talk about something else and then more love come through with the Knight of Cups, but you've got people spying on you, okay? You've got people that are definitely looking at you. But there's someone in particular who is definitely wanting to kind of sweep you off your feet. There is going to be a romantic offer or proposal soon from this person. This person is going to speak up and tell you how they feel. But this person may also feel a little bit kind of concerned that you'll just kind of have your back kind of turned to them, that you won't listen to them, that you'll just kind of be on your guard here and you just won't, you know, give them any attention um, and that you'll distance yourself. But I don't feel like that's the case. I feel for a lot of you, you would be open to hearing what this person has to say to you. But this person knows not to muck you about or play you around because you can definitely put them in their place. And I feel like they kind of love that and hate that at the same time. <laughs> yeah. With the Six of Pentacles, yeah, definitely. Somebody is really wanting to invest in the connection with you. Again, with the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. This person knows that they have to come in with something pretty profound to get you to kind of you know, to, to, I'm getting to like, take them seriously. Yeah, with the Empress again. I mean, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But also guys, I feel that you are someone who is going to be receiving that new job, that promotion, you guys, if you are an entrepreneur or you're self-employed, your business is going to be taking off very soon or it's already started to take off. I'm getting like trickles of little um, manifestations coming through for you. People are going to be very generous, maybe wanting to gift you um, finances. Yeah, look, three of swords with temperance, Sagittarius energy, 
some of you may be on this spiritual path and you could already be of service and you've helped a lot of people through some very difficult and challenging times in their life like you've helped kind of temper their energy or give them you know faith and to trust the process that things will kind of balance out and work out and that whatever that this person these people have gone through you know the pain it's temporary and that they're going to come out you know the other side of whatever they've endured and i feel like i'm getting this like guiding light you've been like a guiding light to certain people and look with the six of wands you see how this person is like taking the lead and you've got these kind of people following so you're an inspiration here but also your career is going to take off like i just basically said if you have a business if you are out there in the public eye you know for people to see of you you're going to do very well you're getting that public recognition okay I just got told something to do with Saturn uh, retrograde because as I broke up the deck, I saw um, the devil, but I wasn't getting like a like a toxic energy. I was getting told to say Saturn retrograde could be very significant for you, which I do believe is like at the end of the seven days of when I go to post this reading. Um, so something about Saturn retrograde, like those few months, there's a big turnaround for you. I also get that just to be kind of wary, um, you may have a few people that could be a little bit obsessed over you, over your energy. Yeah, <laughs> again with the Empress. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my days. Wow. Like what? <laughs> you definitely have people that are going to be feeling a little bit obsessed. Okay. You know, like they feel like they're feeling on your energy like they feel this like i just keep hearing like give me more <laughs> okay so people are definitely like i mean you you guys are in demand over something obviously whether that's a creative talent whether that's um you know a service or a product that you provide or something you're definitely going to be um I'm, he I'm hearing hitting those higher numbers hitting those higher numbers Anything else for career and finances? Yeah, more money coming through with the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Absolutely. I'm hearing month by month increase. There's something about month by month, there's going to be an increase. Yeah, and there's going to be celebrations with the Three of Cups. I'm definitely picking up on collaboration energy. I'm getting more followers, more subscribers. Wow, the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces energy with the Hermit. Guys, now it's interesting to me with that coming out through reversal. I feel like this is someone who is intuitive and very psychic, but with it coming out reversal, it's like you guys are very intuitive or psychic or um, you guys are tapping in with certain um, abilities here, but you don't necessarily know and see how much um, or how like, I'm hearing gifted you are and so therefore that's what's going to be revealed to you and it's not going to be a secret and so therefore people i'm hearing wanting to see you you know really put yourself out there as i say that with the ace of cups so you guys are ready to step out there wow four four of ones five of ones and the five of swords and the ten of cups there may be some people around you who um haven't wanted to see you get to this next level unfortunately they may be saying of certain things to you but you're just going to walk away from these people and do what's right and best for you and just keep trusting of your intuition here these people may make you try to doubt of your intuition or doubt the gifts that you naturally hold i'm hearing your abilities but don't let them i'm hearing a lot of it's to do with the fact that they're kind of projecting of certain things okay because i feel that you have been given some sort of gift from the divine from the universe from god's source the angels whoever you resonate with and whatever you're doing 
is going to be really pretty um amazing so just keep moving through from your heart space and know that you're going to be feeling these overwhelming tears of joy right when it comes to um the kind of next stages in your life there's a lot more peace and harmony coming through for you and if i'm hearing as well if you've been worried about competition or the market being saturated for something or there's too much competition around certain things there's something about you that stands out i hear i'm hearing we're in abu an abundant universe you shouldn't necessarily have to worry about that i'm hearing go out and do your thing Okay, go out and do your thing. You're going to be able to fight off the competition here with the seven of wands and you're going to come out on top and be successful with the sun. You know, things are going to be aligning and working out for you very, very well. So I wouldn't even worry. Just put yourself out there, right? And know that things are going to take off and it's going to be very big. I'm hearing a very, very busy time period for you that you're going to have a lot of work on, but it's going to be worth it it's going to be worth it anything else before we close this reading it is a long one but i felt called to do this any other final messages any other final messages for this reading or is this it two of swords anything else why is the two of swords come out The Hierophant. There may have been um, authority figures, parental figures, that may have not necessarily wanted you to see. I'm hearing your potential. Yeah, the fact, look at that with the magician, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio and Taurus coming through. Um, there were certain people that tried to keep this blindfold on you. So therefore you wouldn't see a certain aspects about yourself that they saw about you, but they didn't want you to have that kind of belief about you. But you're coming through as very powerful and you're manifesting. And I'm hearing what was once a daydream will soon be your reality. Just continue co-creating with the universe. And don't pay these people any mind because you know you best you know what's right and true and best for you and just trust the process and trust of your intuition right i'm hearing just kind of ignore um certain things here i'm hearing be a little bit delulu <laughs> um and just know that even if you don't see it with your physical eyes that certain things are improving or changing for you there's a lot going on in the ethers that is co-creating to help assist you to get to where you want to get to okay beautiful energy beautiful reading lots of different messages coming through um i also feel like in love you do have someone that's coming through and you're not going to see how this is going to come in when this is going to come in you know etc but it is coming in somebody's definitely manifesting you a specific person but also you do have people that are kind of stepping up to the plate and realizing that they genuinely want commitment and they want commitment with you but obviously you know take your time with certain decisions don't rush of anything and just know that everything is kind of working out for you in your highest good and other people's highest good something about the moon energy is going to be significant You may have done some sort of manifesting on a new moon. You've been writing things down. They're getting ready to soon manifest. You may have even forgotten about certain things. These could have been like a new moon or so quite a long time ago. Maybe even years ago. That could be coming up through for you now or relatively soon. And you'll be like, oh gosh, I forgot all about that. <laughs> When you look back at, I'm hearing your old books, your old journals with, with, with what you've been writing. But anyway, guys, I know that was a long reading, but thank you so much for bearing with me. And I hope that there were some messages, a few messages, if not the whole reading that resonated um, with the signs that I called out. They may be of great significance for you. And, um, you know, number wise, same thing. When I called out the numbers, they may resonate. 
uh, but that's going to be the end of the reading. <laughs> so I know it's been a long reading, so thank you for bearing with me if you're still here. <laughs> and also thank you for your patience with this reading coming out. I've just had a lot going on. So sorry that, you know, the readings haven't been coming out a little bit sooner for you guys. And it's been a little while for you to wait, but I am so grateful to your, you know, to you guys, for your patience, your understanding. So thank you very much. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading as much as I've enjoyed reading for you. And if you wish to support myself and the channel, there are donation links available. There's a PayPal link in the description box below. And there is a super thanks, which is listed underneath this video. So thank you so much to you guys who have already donated. I greatly appreciate you. Um, even if you don't financially donate, a wonderful way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll get back to you guys on those comments when I can. So thank you so much. Please hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video or update the channel. And if you're interested in membership, there's a link in the description box below with all the information that you need. And thank you to my current members. You guys mean a great deal to me. So thank you. And lastly, um, please feel free to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury and North Node placements in the other Zodiac signs for your timeless next seven day current energy check in readings. So sending love and light your way. Many blessings. Please take care and I'll see you and speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye, guys.